to work. Word? Nothing yet. At your service. Let's see what we have. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montilier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva, until a scandal exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It devastated our finances. The Montiliers have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. Debt or no? You appear to be surviving. That isn't enough. A disaster could wipe us out completely. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems. For a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale... <sighs> I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Do you have any idea who murdered them? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boisvert, a nobleman in Valvoyo, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request. That you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers, just to harm my family. I ran into Fiona. Seems you have Alexius serving the mages. There's some justice in that after what he did to them. Maybe one day he'll realize it. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son? What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter.
You think your father would actually do that? No. Although I wouldn't put it past him. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with the message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Uh-oh, nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, Father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then. Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinta family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. So that's what all of this is about. 
who you sleep with. That's not all it's about. Dorian, please, if you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic, the resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. Don't leave it like this, Dorian. You'll never forgive yourself. Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me, a trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me. He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but it's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me, Your Reverence. Oh. I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinto, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. The concerns of the Chantry are no concern of the Inquisition, Mother Giselle. I'm aware of that. You risk, however, not only the Chantry's opinion, 
And if I ask from where these rumors originated? I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. Don't listen to her. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She does, actually. There are rumors, and her concern is well-meaning, if misplaced. It doesn't matter. <laughs> listen to you. It's good to be the Inquisitor. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? I wish they wouldn't disparage you. They don't know you. <sighs> they know you even less than they know me. Perhaps it's odd to say, but I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... Don't speak. I detest confessions, and I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. It's the Grand Ball and the Winter... Unless you stop. In the Inquisition? Red Jenny? I told you I was right not to send supplies to Haven. Look what happened there. I am more worried about who attacked them and why. Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert has invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archives. A contract for a life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. They're not just after your messengers, Josephine. They'll try for you, too. 
I... I am afraid so, yes. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Paraquettes. But the Du Paraquettes died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Paraquettes were our rivals. They drove the Montilliers from Val Royaux. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine? The two parakets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a du paraquette could annul the contract on my life. Uh, that will take time, Lady Montilier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to haunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all, eh? Even an assassin's word is his bond. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor, just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out the Duparaquette to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in the contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Go then. Good day, your worship. My lady, I pray we never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Do you hear... I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Between our soldiers and spies, Skyhold's safer than anywhere else in Thedas. Yet the problem persists. I've tracked down the last two paraquettes. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's so like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royaux?
We can solve this without more deaths on either side. My people are ready, should you change your mind. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? You said I'd have to do some favors in Varwario if we want to make the Duparakets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duparakets as lords. Word for you. What is it? This may be worthwhile. Inquisitor, I have something for you. What is it? This could help us. <laughs> this might interest you, sir. What is it? Could prove useful, sir. What is it? This could help us. This might interest you, sir. What is it? This may be worthwhile.
scouted the, the waking sea. We crossed it to reach Haven. Already it seems so long ago. Nothing to report, sir. Ferelden has faced enough dark spawn for a lifetime. Ten years past. And you can still see how the blight haunts this country and its people.
Nothing to report, sir. the end of it. Inquisitor. Nothing to report, sir.
That was some solid work back there, Seeker. You as well. The way you backhanded that guy with your shield and then damn near chopped him in half. Hey, are you as turned on as I am right now? Am I what? That's probably impossible anyway. Nothing to report, sir. 